Hi everybody, I got a few requests from some of my uh, class participants to do some classes online um, during this COVID-19 crisis. So I thought I would start with a yoga class. So go ahead and have a seat, get comfortable wherever you've got a little bit of room in your house. And I want you to close your eyes. We're gonna place one hand on our bellies and one hand right on our chest. And we're gonna start our yoga breath. So we always breathe through the nose during yoga. And I'll explain to you what three-part breathing is. So as you inhale, the first part of three-part breathing is breathing into the belly. So you wanna feel your belly expand and kind of push into your hand as it fills with air. And then part two is once the belly is full, flowing that air up into the rib cage and feeling the rib cage expand, not only to the front, but to the sides and to the back as well. And then part three is um, expanding your breath into the chest. So inhaling, breathing into the belly, rib cage and chest and then pause and then exhale and again breathe into the belly or exhale from the belly rib cage and then chest i'm going to give you a little bit of time to do these three parts of your breath When you're ready, we're gonna bring our hands either down on our legs or down to your mat. And I want you to just sit up tall, take a deep breath in. I want you to lift up through the top of the head. And as you exhale, then we're gonna bring our chin down to our chest. Just start to round out the back. Walk your fingers forward, keeping your head between your arms. Once you're down, take a deep breath in Breathe into the back and sides of the rib cage. And then as you exhale, we're gonna roll ourselves back up to a sitting position. And we'll come up onto our knees from here. And let's take our right leg out to the side. Deep breath in, reaching that left arm up. We're getting nice and tall. Exhale, we're gonna stretch it over to the side. So really getting that nice stretch through that left side. Take a deep breath in, reach back up again, and then exhale again, stretch it over. And we'll do that two more times. Inhale as you reach up, exhale as you stretch over. Inhale as you reach up, and exhale as you stretch over. This time we're gonna hold, and I want you to breathe into that left side. Good, come on up, we'll switch sides. Reaching up, inhale, right arm reaches up. Exhale, stretch over to the side. And take a deep breath in, reaching up again. Exhale, stretch it over. Two more times, reach up. Exhale. And one more time. This time we're gonna hold it. Feeling that nice length through our right side. Come on out and we'll come on to our hands and knees and do a couple of cat cows. So taking a deep breath in, we're gonna lengthen through the back, lift the chin a little bit, and then we'll exhale and we'll come into the cat pose. So I'm rounding out my back, my head is between my arms, and I'm hollowing out my belly and chest. 
and then inhaling and lengthening to the cow pose, just lifting the chin a little bit. And we'll repeat this a couple of times. Just go at your own pace. Exhale to cat, inhale to cow. Let's do that one more time, each pose. And then we'll come to a nice flat back position. We're gonna curl our toes, we're gonna press up, just walk our feet forward into what's called ragdoll. So your feet are hip width apart, your head is down, your knees are bent. We're going to grab onto our alternate elbows here so your head is hanging between the arms. And just breathe into the back. And release the elbows. And on your next exhale, we'll roll all the way up to a standing position. Take a deep breath in. Reach up and exhale, bring the arms down. And we'll come to the front of our mats and go into Sun Salutation A. I'm just gonna adjust my mat here. So taking a deep breath in, reaching up, exhale right into forward fold. Deep breath into halfway lift. So we're keeping the back flat, belly button pulled in, hands are on the shins, and then we step or jump right into plank position, okay? You can be on the toes or you can be on the knees, either or. Chaturanga, we slowly lower down to the mat. And again, you can either hover, you're gonna go all the way down. I'll show you all the way down here. Hands come back, we come up into cobra, or you can do up dog, and then right back into down dog. So our down dog is like an upside down letter V. Our sit bones are at the high point. Our head is between our arms. And we're gonna just alternate pressing those heels down to the mat and gently stretch our calves. And then look up to your hands and step or jump your feet to your hands. Inhaling to halfway lift, exhaling to forward fold. Take a deep breath in, reach the arms up. Exhale back into forward fold. Inhale to halfway lift. Step or jump to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Now we keep the elbows in as we slowly lower down, coming into cobra or up dog. I'm showing up dog. And then back into down dog. And from here, we're gonna go into warrior two. So stepping our right foot forward, we pivot the left foot and we come all the way up into warrior two. Notice my hips, my shoulders are facing the camera. My arms are long and ideally you're looking out over that right hand. And we never forget that yoga breath. And then into reverse warrior, turn the right palm up. We're gonna reach up with that right arm, slide the left arm down the back of the leg. So you're feeling a nice stretch through that right side. And then we'll bring it back into warrior two, pressing that front leg back so both legs are straight and then reaching forward and down into triangle. So as we're in triangle, we're trying to keep that front leg nice and long, but we're also trying to keep the side long as well. And just hold it and breathe. Take a deep breath in and we'll lift that upper body. Exhale, sink back down into warrior two. And we're gonna bring it on down and go through vinyasa. So plank, chaturanga, cobra or up dog, and back into down dog.
and bringing that left foot forward. So I'm gonna face away from you now, coming into warrior two, looking out over the left hand, turning my left palm up and coming into reverse warrior. back down, press the left leg back, reach those arms forward, and down to the shin or ankle, right into triangle. that upper body as you inhale exhale sink back into warrior two and we'll bring those arms down and again go through vinyasa and anytime you can skip vinyasa and just go right to your down dog or even right to child's pose if you prefer that and we're going to look up to our hands and step or jump our feet to our hands Come into halfway lift, exhale forward fold, and then take a deep breath in, reach the arms up, and exhale, bring our arms down. All right, so let's take a big step back with our left leg, and we're gonna turn toward the side of our mat. And you can't tell, but my feet are pointing straight ahead and they're wider than my shoulders, okay? From here, we're gonna do a straddle. So we start with our hands on our hips. We take a deep breath in. And again, we get as tall as we can, lifting up through the top of the head and then lengthening forward, coming all the way down, bringing our hands down. If you can't touch the mat, get it as close to the mat as you can. Head and neck is relaxed, so you're looking through those legs. And if you touch the mat easily with your hands, you can always walk your hands through the legs toward the back of your mat. Now from here, we're gonna walk our hands forward. I'm right on my fingertips. And I'm gonna come up to halfway lift. Arms are out to the side. My back is really nice and flat. And take that right arm and reach it down toward my mat. My left arm comes up. So I'm adding a nice twist here. I'm gonna hold this for a few breaths. And just really a light touch um, on the mat. I'm not putting all of my weight into that hand. Deep breath in as we untwist and exhale as we do it the other way. Good. And we'll take a deep breath in, arms out to the side, exhale, bring it on down. Take a deep breath in, and we're gonna bring it all the way back up. And come into what's called Sun God. So I'm turning, which you can't see, but I'm turning my toes out and my heels are in, and then I'm sinking down into a nice deep squat. And we're gonna bring our arms in front and eagle our arms. So right goes over left. You're gonna lift the left, wrap the right once or twice. So either your knuckles or your palms are going to face each other. So working on strengthening the legs and we're releasing the shoulders and the upper back. So you should feel some heat building in those legs. Keeping the knees as wide as you can. Now let's release those arms and press the legs up. Take a big step back to the front of your mat. 
and we'll go through a vinyasa. And you're very welcome to skip this part if you don't want to. And just hold in mountain pose. So we're straddling again. You guys are going to step back with your right leg. I'm going to come back with my left leg again so I can face you. We're bringing our hands behind us this time. So if I turn around, you can see I'm interlacing my fingers. And again, feet are wider than your shoulders. Toes point straight ahead. Deep breath in as you lift the hands first. And then we're going to lengthen and come into forward fold. Now, if you can't get those hands together, just reach them and get them as close as you can. And then again, I'm looking through those legs, easing into the shoulder stretch. Take a deep breath in. Keep those hands together if you can, and we're gonna come all the way up. Do a little standing back bend. So just look up. And go ahead and release the back bend and your hands. And again, we're going into sun god, sun god. So we're turning the toes out, heels are in. And again, feet are nice and wide, deep breath in. Exhale, sinking down into that sun god position again. This time, left goes over right. Lifting the right, wrapping the left once or twice. You can lift those arms up a little bit. Just make sure you're not tensing up the shoulders. Keep the shoulders down and the neck long. Knees are pointing out in the same direction as the toes. You can close your eyes if you like. Again, building some heat in those legs. Good, come on out, release the arms. Take a big step forward to the front of your mat. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to halfway lift. Step or jump to plank. Exhale, chaturanga into cobra or up dog and back into down dog. And then look up to your hands and step or jump your feet to your hands. Coming into halfway lift and to forward fold. Inhale, hinge at the hips, bring it all the way up. And exhale, bring the arms down. Good. Going into some balance today. Um, so we're going to start with our right foot down first. We're going to go into warrior three. So we're bringing our hands to heart center, taking our left leg behind us and just lifting that leg behind us. Just do what you can here. If you have to bring an arm out to the side and touch the wall, go ahead and do that. You're trying to keep your toes on that left foot pointing straight down so your hips stay straight. If you want to reach those arms forward, it makes it harder. And we're gonna come out of that. You hold that as long as you like to. We're gonna deep breath in and exhale. And we'll switch. So left leg is down. I'm gonna take that right leg up behind us. Keeping the toes pointed straight down to your mat. 
Hands can be at heart center or can reach straight ahead. Nice job, everybody. Deep breath in, reach up, exhale, right back into forward fold. And let's just hold this forward fold. And then just bend your knees, come down, have a seat on your mat. We're gonna go into bridge pose. Um, so you should be able to see what I'm doing here. You're gonna roll down onto your back. Walk your heels into your sit bones. And then go ahead and just lift up the legs and the butt. So your weight is in the shoulders. And then you probably can't see this, but I'm bringing my hands underneath my sit bones. And I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together. So I'm really opening up the rib cage and lifting the sternum. And we're gonna hold this for a few breaths. So great for increasing strength through our legs and glutes, but also is great for opening up the chest and the rib cage and the front of our shoulders. Now I'm going to release my hands, flatten out my shoulders, and come on down onto my mat. And I'll bring my knees into my chest. Just hold here for a breath. And let's roll ourselves up. So we're going to go into boat pose, which is really a good strength exercise for our abdominals. So we'll start with our feet down on our mat. And I'll show you a couple different variations. So we're gonna keep the back nice and long, draw that belly button in, and then lean back like a hinge. So I'm reaching to my knees. Now from here, this can be your boat pose. I can already feel my abs kicking in here. If you wanna challenge yourself, you can raise even just one leg, or you can bring both legs up. Full boat pose is with straight legs. So you decide where you'd like to challenge yourself in this pose. Any of those options will work. You just have to find what's right for you. Challenge yourself, but make it achievable. All right, good, let's bend our knees. Bring our feet down, and we're just going to round out over our knees here. And come on up. All right, we're sitting down on our mats. Our legs are out in front of us. We're sitting up as tall as we can. We're going to cross our right leg over our left. Okay, so the left leg is straight. I know you can't see my left leg. Now I'm gonna pull in my right leg and just hold it there. It's a nice glute stretch. So sit up as tall as you can, right on those sit bones. Bring that leg into your chest and just hold it. Should feel a nice release through the glutes. Then we'll add a twist. So my right hand goes behind me my left arm reaches up. Now take a deep breath in and feel yourself getting taller. And then as you exhale, you can either hug your knee into your chest with that twist, or you can bring that arm to the outside of your knee. And I'm gonna turn and look over my right shoulder. And again, I'm sitting up as tall as I can. 
I'm not putting too much weight on that hand that's behind me. It's just there for balance. And you can actually take it away, wrap it behind you if you want to. Forces your core, your um, abdominals and your low back to work a little bit harder. We are going to release, bring both of our legs out in front of us again, take a deep breath in, exhale, bring the arms down, and we'll cross that left leg over. Again, we're going to hug it in, so we're sitting up nice and tall, and then bring that left hand behind us, deep breath in as you reach the right up, and then exhale. Add that twist, look over your left shoulder. And again, if you want to take that left hand up and wrap it around your back, go ahead. All right, let's untwist and bring our legs out in front of us again. Let's take a deep breath in, reach the arms up again, exhale, and bring the arms down. All right, so let's grab our right leg. I want you to grab near the ankle and the knee, and you're just going to draw it in towards your chest. We're getting at our piriformis. And then I want you to cross it over your midline. Just go side to side with that. And then from here, you've got two options. You can cross your foot and bring it just above your left knee, or you're gonna take your left leg and bring it underneath the right. So I've got my foot stacked on top of my knee and then my knee stacked on top of my foot. I know that you can't see my bottom leg. And then just working on sitting up tall and you're working on keeping this knee down as best you can. And like I said, your bottom leg, which should be your left leg right now, can be straight out in front of you. It depends on what your hips and your knees allow you to do. So we're gonna just hold this. If you wanna add to the stretch, you can add a hip hinge just coming forward. And you can close your eyes if you like. All right, let's undo our legs, stretch them out again, and we'll grab our left legs somewhere around the knee and the ankle, draw it in toward the chest, and then going side to side. And then again, bringing it down on top of the right, either keeping the right leg straight or bringing the right leg underneath. So again, you're stacking the foot on top of the knee and the knee on top of the foot. And again, just holding that, keeping both sit bones grounded evenly into your mat, adding a little hip hinge if you'd like to go a little deeper into your stretch. All right, we are gonna come on up. Relax your legs, so sit in a comfortable position. I want you to close your eyes, bring your pointer finger and your thumb together and just rest your hands right on top of your legs.
Now, normally we would go into Shavasana, laying down on our back. We're gonna stay here um, seated just because you can't see me when I'm on my back. So if you wanna go down on your back, go right ahead. And I invite you to stay there as long as you need to. We're gonna take a deep breath in and reach our arms up. Exhale, we'll bring our hands right down to heart center. Namaste. And I hope you enjoy the video and I hope it helps you while we're all at home.